Hey, what's up, everybody? It's that guy, Scampy. Today, I'm going to be making another airbrush video. It's going to be on a 2.75 square bill. This is one of the uh, Do It Molds crank blanks. Um, I decided I'm going to go ahead and go with a, uh, a perch pattern. I went to Google Images, and I just typed in perch, and I got all the different colors uh, of, of a perch. So I went through my, all my bait blast colors, and I kind of uh, put aside all the colors that kind of match the uh, uh, perch. And uh, I got an idea in my head on how I'm going to do it. Not exactly sure how it's going to come out. Man, I'm uh, I'm still new to this. I have done a couple crank uh, crank baits in the past. But, uh, man, I'm still learning, man. Some of them come out great. Some of them come out a disaster. Man, it's, it's all about learning. So I'm going to be learning with you guys. So, yeah, so like I said, I got uh, specific colors that I want to go with for this perch pattern. And uh, as I as I do the painting, man, I'll I'll show you the colors I go. So, uh, man, wish me luck, guys. That guy's Gimpy. So first off, we're going to use this white. We're going to do this as the base coat. All right. So we're going to make sure that we cover it all. All right, looks like we got it all. All right, so on to the next color. Okay, so what we're gonna do is on the very bottom, we're gonna put this blaze orange right on the bottom here. Not a lot, just a little bit on the bottom. Okay, so here we go. Just like that. Sorry if there's a little glare. The lights are making it a little shiny here. But yeah, not too much. We just want a little bit on the bottom. On to the next. Okay, so for the next color, we're gonna go down the sides here on both sides. We're gonna do this uh, yellow chartreuse. Give it a good shake. We'll load her up. Okay, so we're just gonna go down the side here. We're gonna mix the chartreuse with that orange. sure that we get it mixed in with that orange here so then that's that's the next color all right on to the next okay so for the next color we're gonna do this bright green and we're gonna cover the top and a little bit into that uh, chartreuse there Here we go. Okay, so 
Okay, that's all there is to it. Next color. Okay, so for this next part, I'm gonna take this scale netting and I'm gonna go around. You wanna make sure that it's tight because if it's loose, then it's not gonna make a, a good pattern there. And then you take just little alligator clips. Okay, just making sure that it's all tight there. I gotta fix it up on the back here. Okay, so it looks like it's all tight. So then what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna take this, uh, this watermelon and I'm gonna do a just a light spray and it's gonna give the, the scale look. And I know that we're going all these bright colors and then kind of a darker color, but hopefully it works out. Um, like I've said a thousand times, man, I'm new to this and I'm learning, but uh, this is the perch pattern I had in my head. So this is what we're gonna go with. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. We're still having fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some uh, watermelon in here and let's do this. Like I said, I'm not gonna go too crazy with it. I just wanna get the, the scale effect. And that's all. There's more on the top here. That's about it for that. On to the next. All right, so let's take this off, see what it looks like. Oh yeah, man, looking good. Looks good. All right. So for the next part, what we're gonna do is, is um, this is actually a pretty cool trick that I learned. Um, I, I did not come up with this idea myself. I was watching uh, uh, a lot of airbrushing videos and people use a comb to make the lines instead of like a stencil, you can just use a comb. So I went to the dollar store and I got this. And if you notice, I have some taped off here is because I don't want so many of the, the stripes. I figured four would be about good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of place this um, right in front and then I'm gonna lightly spray it with black and then uh, get the lines. I don't want the black to be too dark. Um, I don't want that to be the main focal point is just those lines. But, uh, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Let me get my black here. So we're gonna use this black. All bait blast, baby. So I'm a little nervous. Um, I haven't done this a lot, so I am a little nervous. Because right now, if I mess this up, I mess up the whole bait. <laughs> All right, let me find my little cap here. Where'd you go, buddy? Okay, put my cap on. All right, so I'm gonna line this up. I don't know if I can get it on camera here. Just gonna line it up like that. Just give it a quick, a quick line there. We'll do it on this side as well. Just a quick line. Came out pretty good. And then while I have the black out, I'm gonna put a black right on the top. I don't want, I don't want a, 
a lot, so I'm just gonna barely kind of do it here. I'm just kind of trying to connect the the line. I'm just barely pulling the trigger back. Try to connect it a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and do in the eye. I know I'm gonna put uh, what do you call it? Eyes in there, but I kind of want it blacked out around it. Just kind of black around there. So it's looking pretty good. Maybe a little bit more right on top. Just noticed a little bit. There's a little spot there. All right, maybe I got it. So what do you guys think so far? Not too bad, huh? Okay, let me put some eyes on this Joker. Okay, so now we're gonna put some eyes on. I'm gonna go with the gold eyes. And I know a lot of people glue these eyes on first. But if I'm going to be clear coating it anyway, then it's going to seal it. And there's one eye. Try to get on camera here, guys. And there's two eyes. All right. Okay, so now it's time to seal it. And I'm gonna use this uh, seal coat by CS Coatings. And then I'm just gonna use this brush. And I'm just gonna kind of brush it on. I just wanna get it. You don't have to do it heavy. You can do multiple coats, but I, I, I'm just trying to do it a little heavy right there on the eye at first. And then you just kind of brush on. Make sure that you get get the entire bait here. Like I said, I do a little heavy on the eye. Hopefully, it soaks in a little bit. I want to seal that eye. This stuff dries clear. It's pretty, pretty hard when it when it finishes. When it, when it cures, it's pretty hard. So it protects the paint a lot. So I'll just do a light coat. I'm gonna go ahead and do like two coats, but I'm gonna wait for this to dry and then I'll do another coat. Probably not gonna do it on camera. You get the idea. But like I said, I'm gonna do like two coats. All right. All right, so here's two coats of the seal coat. What do you guys think? Not too bad of a perch pattern. I think it came out pretty good. I think I could have put it, probably put a little bit darker on top. Probably a little bit more black on the top, like I said, but. I don't think it's too bad. Maybe the next time will be a little bit better. Like I said, guys, I'm still learning. So here it is. 2.75 square bill do it molds crank blank came out pretty much what I imagined um, the only thing I'll probably do different next time is where you see the lines here um, and then and then the black here I think I want them to connect a little bit more next time but other than that man this is this is pretty much what I imagined 
this is pretty much what I wanted to uh, to have in uh, the perch square bill here. Hopefully you guys like it. All right, that being said, um, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you liked the video. Hopefully you learned something. Um, thank you to all the subscribers. Thank you for everybody who likes and shares and comments on all these videos, man. I, I super appreciate all of you guys' support. Big shout out to Dual Molds. Big shout out to Victory Hooks. Big shout out to CS Coatings. Man, this bait blast, I'm telling you, um, this bait blast is perfect uh, from beginner to expert, man. Uh, this stuff right here, you know, I've heard, you know, you know, different issues and stuff with different kind of paints that you have to thin it out on all this stuff. I don't have to, I didn't have to thin anything out, poured it right into the airbrush, sprayed it. I didn't have any problems whatsoever, man. It, it's, it's awesome. Uh, for now on, I will only use this bait blast, and I'm not just saying that, man. It's it's true story. All right, guys. Well, hey, I appreciate it, man. That guy's skimpy.